This training video will describe how the FBA liquidations program will help you generate value for your customer returned and overstock inventory. You can submit your eligible inventory to FBA liquidations. Amazon will determine an average selling price or ASP for that ASIN. To calculate the average selling price, Amazon looks at several factors, including your sales history, the average FBA selling price on Amazon, the sales history of the item. Amazon will attempt to arrange a buyer for the eligible items that you submit for liquidations. On average, you can expect to recover approximately 5% to 20% of the average selling price value, depending on the product category net of fees. Once you submit an FBA liquidations order, you can expect to receive the funds in your account in about 90 days. Amazon will charge two separate fees for each item you liquidate, a referral fee and a processing fee. The referral fee is a percent-based fee, similar to what is charged for regular sales. The processing fee is a per-item fee, based on the size and weight of the item. For more information about FBA liquidations fees, visit the Help page in Seller Central. Let's walk through some examples. Imagine you sell T-shirts on Amazon. You have excess or customer returned T-shirts that you want to remove from the Amazon network. Before FBA liquidations, you had only three options, having Amazon return this inventory to you, having Amazon donate it for you, or dispose of it for you if the product is not eligible for donation. Those options are shown in the two columns on the right with the headings Dispose and Ship to Address. Row A shows the average selling price for your T-shirt at €20. Euro. If you wanted to have this item disposed of or returned to you, you can see in row E that you will be charged a 28 cent processing fee for disposal and 25 cent for a return. The values shown here are examples and are subject to change. Now let's walk through an example of the new option provided by FBA liquidations. You can see this in the third column with the heading Liquidate. For the same T-shirt, row A shows an average selling price of €20 Euro and a contracted liquidator rate of 15% in row B. 15% of the average selling price of €20 Euro gives you a gross recovery value of €3, Euro, which you can see in row C. Amazon will then charge referral fees of 15% on the gross recovery value, which is equal to €0.45 Euro, and a processing fee of €0.25. Euro. Those fees will be subtracted from the gross recovery value, giving you the net recovery value of €2.3. Euro. As you can see from this example, if you use the FBA liquidations program, you could net almost 2.55 euro revenue by liquidating your inventory rather than having Amazon return it to you or dispose of it. Approximately 90 days after you submit an FBA liquidations order, you will see the net recovery value the liquidator has paid. To review the revenue received from a completed liquidation order, start from the Seller Central homepage. From the Seller Central homepage, hover over Reports and select Payments. On the Payments dashboard, you'll see multiple tabs similar to viewing payment information for any other transaction. To view payment received for a liquidation order, click Transaction View. From this screen, you can change the statement period to a custom date range that aligns with your order time frame. You can also filter by transaction type, in this case, liquidations, and click Update. The transactions generated for each line item are directly related to each liquidated unit and show your revenues over a period of time, similar to how you can see this for your removal and disposal orders. However, for FBA liquidations, you will see the gross recovery value as total product charges, Amazon fees, applicable taxes as other, and a net recovery value as total for each unit. This concludes the training for FBA liquidations, how does it work and payment. To get started with FBA liquidations, go to Seller Central and start creating your removal order. For more information, watch the remaining videos in the Seller University course. Thank you for learning about FBA liquidations.